Hello guys, my name is Zukamis Kusana and welcome back to Demystifying Business Intelligence. So this whole entire series is about unpacking some of the terminologies we use in business intelligence, in data analysis and data engineering. So if you've been following this series, you would have known that in episode one, we've covered data wrangling. In episode two, We've covered data profiling and other many terminologies. And episode three was basically um, doing some technical work where we were showcasing data profiling and data wrangling and using um, some of the technologies that are well used in the industry, which is Altrex and Python. And today's episode is about ETL and ELT. You might have heard of it before, but if you haven't, don't worry, because I have you covered. So what does it really mean? So starting with defining ETL or ELT, so it stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. And ELT stands for Extract, Load, and Transform. So it's basically the same thing, but then the sequence at which these appear as different. So basically, the, the first three episodes that we've covered play a very crucial role, role when it comes to explaining the whole entire process of ETL. So what does it mean to extract? Firstly, explaining the extraction. Extracting is basically the process where you extract data from your source systems, right? So you extract data from various systems. For instance, in, in your organizations, they might be using various systems, HR systems, procurement systems, and the process of extracting would be getting data from those various systems that we're using. And then the process of transformation is the process where after you've extracted, you then transform your data. So this is where, um, this is basically what we've covered in episode one and two and three, where we're actually transforming data, we're cleaning data. Because the data does not always come in the most usable form for reporting or doing analysis. So the, the, the part where we're transforming data, we're basically doing data wrangling. So all these steps are actually like um, following each other very well. So transformation, there's very, uh, various transformation tools and techniques that we can use. Um, if you did follow episode three, you'd seen how we did um, transform our data. So using Altrex and Python. So some of the tools that you can actually use is Talent. Um, it's your Python as we were uh, using Python in the previous episode. Um, Altrex as well is one of the great tools that you can use to clean your data or transform your data. It provides like a very friendly user interface. SSIS as well, it's drag and drop tools or components that can that you that you can actually utilize to clean or transform your data. You might want to do some calculations in some of your columns. It's not always necessarily about cleaning data that's not readable, but you'd want to apply certain calculations and and, and, and those calculations or columns that you're using certain formulas on, you'd want to use them later on in your reporting. And then the last um, description that we're gonna be doing is loading. The loading part is basically after you've done transforming your data, now we take our data and load it into data warehouses. It's where we would fetch data for reporting purposes. Data warehouses and, and other various storages that you would actually store in. So we'll cover this more in details in the following episode. So we're not gonna be talking about storage in this episode, but basically the loading phase or the loading process is you loading your data into a data warehouse or somewhere where you're gonna fetch it for reporting purposes. So um, going to ELT, um, extract, load and transfer, it's basically the same process, but now in this case, you start with extracting, you load your data before you transform it. You load your data into your warehouses and you start doing your transformations when you're there in your warehouse. When your data sits in your warehouses or whatever uh, storage tools that you're usually using, um, when it's there, you start doing transformation for reporting purposes. Remember, we need to transform data for us in, in order for people, for us to be able to do some analysis and do some um, 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 reports or dashboards from it. Because when it comes in its raw form, it's actually not going to be, uh, and it's 
greatest form and we can't report um, on very usable or clean data. So um, I've covered like the tools that we actually utilize. So um, I've covered like the tools that we actually utilize the whole entire ETL process. And I've also um, covered what each of the letters in ETL stands for, uh, extract, transform, load, or extract, load, transform. So in the next episode, we're going to be talking more about the data storages, the various data storages that we can use, your snowflakes, your there's many, many of them. So I'm not really going to be explaining um, those tools yet, but I'm going to mention some of them. And uh, episode six, you'd actually see me doing the whole entire process from extracting from a source or system, um, transforming the data as I was doing in the previous episode. But now I'm not going to just like um, transform data with regards to cleaning it. I'll be transforming data, for instance, applying certain formulas so that you can actually engage and see the transformations that are actually done. If you're working for finance, for instance, you'd find that there's a lot of formulas and calculations that you need to do. And we can use some of those calculations and, 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 have, um, and have columns that are actually already calculated so that it's easy for us to import. You know, sometimes it's more um, efficient to actually transform your data uh, before you load it into your systems. Because when you have to do that, or when you want to do that in your Power BI in Tableau, then you make Power BI in Tableau carry the heavy load of having to do the transformations, of which you can do it there as well. But now we're not going to be covering that. We're going to be doing data storages. And later on, we'll still do and build like a lot of dashboards. So thank you so much, guys, for tuning in in today's episode. And... Please do subscribe if you like the video and please do share with your friends. Thank you so much. See you next time in the next episode. Bye.